Good morning, dear students. I hope you all will be fine. Today, we will start about the application pattern. As yesterday in our task, our question number five was left, and I told you that tomorrow, inshallah, we will do in our next class. The question is write an application to your principal for long medical leave. For this purpose, first I will tell you the application pattern. In class 7, you have to write an application in the board pattern, which you will follow up in your senior next senior classes. So, what is the way to write? Look, the principal, the principal comma. A dot B dot C comma Peshawar full stop. In this level, you will not, in the board pattern, you will not mention your school name. You just write down the abbreviation A, B, C. Then Peshawar full stop, then subject. Subject in your question, people, <coughs> subject depends on your question. Here they have given you. Write an application to your principal for long medical leave. So, what is your subject for long medical leave? You will write down subjects from here for long medical leave. So, in the subject, you will write down for long medical leave. Then, madam, with due respect, it is stated. Then, here you have the options. You can say that... Medical leave means that you are not feeling proper, uh, feeling properly. Maybe you got an accident. Maybe you got any kind of disease like typhoid, malaria, etc. So you are unable to attend the school. So how you will write with due respect? It is stated that two days ago I got an accident. So my leg is fractured or instead of leg you can say my arm is fractured, my shoulder is fractured. So I got an arm, you can say I got an injury at my head so I cannot attend the school. The doctor recommended me complete bed rest for three weeks, for one month, etc. Is it clear? The days can be different, maybe 15 days, 25 days, one month, two months, etc. Then you can write down, uh, with due respect, it is stated that I got a typhoid, so the doctor recommended me bad rest for one month. So I cannot come to the school regularly, therefore kindly grant me leave for one month. Instead of, here I have written one day, so I will write one month, one week, 15 days, etc. Is it clear? Then I shall be very thankful to you for this act of kindness. Then yours, Y will be capital, yours evidently, comma, X, Y, Z. As I told you earlier, it's a board pattern. So you will not mention your school name as well as your name. So instead of your name, you will write down X, Y, Z, then directly the date, not the class. Okay? X, Y, Z, then date, date. In the date, you will write down that day on which you are writing the application. As today, I am doing the pattern. So, today is 22nd May. So, I have written 22nd May, comma, 2021, full stop. I hope till here you have understood my pattern. Is it clear? Then, we are going to question number 7. Question number seven, fill in the blanks. These, these all blanks have been taken from the unit. So when you will read the unit thoroughly, then you can easily attempt and you can easily fill these blanks. Is it clear? Then question number eight. Question number eight is read the passage carefully and give the answer to the questions given at the end. Here the passage, I am reading just the passage for you people. You will give the answer by yourself. This is the Captain Chesley Sillenberger, an airline pilot. He is known as Captain Sully. On 15th January 2009, Captain Sully began his day's work as usual. 
he was flying the US Airways flight 1549 from New York to Charlotte in North Carolina there were 155 passengers and crew on board all of them expecting an ordinary flight as part of an ordinary day but they were about to experience the most extraordinary event of their lives they were about to discover that captain sully was truly a remarkable man a real hero is it clear now the here the question they had been you very easy question the which you can of which you can find out the answers very easily what was the name of the pilot it has been mentioned how many passengers were there on the boat it has also been mentioned when did the accident happen the date is here write the opposite of the words underlined in the passage in the passage they have given you the words unusual day and man you will write the question then you will draw the line and you can easily write down the words opposite and you sorry usual then it's opposite then day and it's opposite man and it's opposite i hope you would have understood you will draw the line in the notebooks and you will write down these three words with their opposites is it clear now come back to the unit i am just recalling the unit with you people unit number 1 about the antarctica antarctica is a continent which is very big it is at the planet at the bottom of planet uh, so it is the coldest driest and windiest place on the earth it is a manless continent manless economy there is no human being on this continent okay so it is the continent without the human being so that's why it has no native language no money and no native people here you can find only the wildlife and means the few animals which can survive in the coldest continent as it is far away from the sun so the whole continent is full of ice there is ice cap in it is totally covered with ice so only those animals live here which can survive the animals which are full of furs which have blubbers mean the fatty tissues which keep them warm okay so what are the animals here penguins seals whales few types of birds fishes etc is it clear when you will read this passage or this unit thoroughly then you can easily fill the blanks in the task then come to the page number 6 page number 6 about the capital letters and the full stop first i am telling you where we can use the full stop here are only here they have given you the reasons that where you can use the full stop that is to a uh, begin to begin a sentence mean our sentence is always start with capital letters then for the language and nationality as you need that language names are proper like urdu english french hindi etc so they all will be start with capital letter like pakistani language or sorry urdu with capital u english with capital e hindi with capital h then for the titles of the books or films as you can see on the television on your book the the headings are always written with capital letters is it clear then for the name of person place day or man for example imran khan alishba ali they will be written with capital letters place like usa pakistan india it's italy france etc so they will be written with capital letter d friday sunday saturday monday etc month february march april they will be written with capital letters so uh, for the name of the special day first festival means diwali eid al fitr ramadan etc they will be christmas they will be written with capital letters then for the letter only the letter i the pronoun i which you will you use for yourself 
it is always be written with capital letter i and where you use this pronoun for yourself anywhere in the passage in the content you must write it with capital i is it clear most of our students they get confused and they write the small i which we really encircle in the papers in the notebooks that please don't write the small i for yourself write down capital i any everywhere when you use it in the passage is it clear so this passage is also about the capital letters and full stop where you have to use the full stop where you have to use the capital letters is it clear full stop has two usage one is at the end of the sentence must you use full stop when you use a full stop it means your speech has finished your sentence has finished your talk is completed is it clear then we also use the full stop between the abbreviations like u s a so u dot s dot a as in the last video classes i told you that we use the full stop between the abbreviation i hope you would have understood thank you class this is the end of the class in this page you can easily write down the full stop and the capital letters goodbye students have a blessed and stay safe